Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Crawford. And I'm Kristen Durand. Continued construction on the air traffic control tower at North Shore Regional Airport in Hammond has been approved. City officials expect the tower will further boost the North Shore economy. Caroline Patrikas has more on the story. When traffic is heavy, some motorists on the causeway get a bit nervous while driving on the bridge, especially this year after three vehicles have plunged into Lake Pontchartrain. So causeway officials are looking for ways to enhance the bridge's safety features, but the solutions aren't cheap or easy to install. Here's Caitlin Morales with more details. That'll do it for this episode of North Shore News. If you have stories, we invite you to send them to us at northshorenews.ureport.com. We hope you'll join us next time. I'm Kristen Duran. And I'm Aaron Crawford. Thanks for watching. On this North Shore News, we'll take a look at a new shopping center being built in Livingston Parish near I-12 and an update on the school building at Sandy Hook Elementary. Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Lindsay Kramer. And I'm Kristen Durand. St. Tammany Parish government has received an early Christmas gift. The federal government canceled the repayment of the Hurricane Katrina Community Disaster Loan to the parish. Here's Itiani Jackson with a story. The Covington City Council recently approved a $20.9 million budget for the 2014 year. The adopted budget was slightly thinner than the one presented by Mayor Mike Cooper in September. The budget, approved unanimously by the council, is said to project $10.4 million in sales tax revenue. Welcome back to North Shore News. The structure at the site of one of the most tragic events in America has been leveled. Sandy Hook Elementary School, where Adam Lanza shot and killed 20 first graders, five teachers, and the principal is no longer there. A demolition team worked behind fences in order to keep spectators out. The school is expected to be completely demolished by the event's anniversary, December 14th. Another school to be built in the same location will open December 2016. Southeastern is now in finals week and students are diligently prepping for exams. Students who prefer to study in a quiet environment chose Southeastern's library located in the center of campus. To see how the students are studying, let's go to Paul Rivera live at the library. It's called the Freshman 15, and it's almost every college freshman student's fear, gaining 15 pounds the first year in school. A recent survey has nearly half of all college freshmen putting on the 15 pounds the first year, but Southeastern is trying to help the freshmen out. Lindsey Kramer is now live on location in the new Student Union cafeteria. Welcome back to North Shore News. Another school shooting has taken place, this time in Nevada at Sparks Middle School. A student opened fire in class, killing his teacher and wounding two of his classmates before turning the gun on himself. Reports reveal that the student got the gun from his parents' home. His motives remain unknown. Hurricane Katrina drowned everything in its way, including the Madisonville Library. The deadly hurricane crippled the library, forcing the managers to either shut it down or build a new one. Now, just a few years later, the library is back with a brand new building with a few extra features. A Greek four-year-old girl has been found with two adults who don't resemble her. Police were suspicious because the adults did not have exact matching stories for how they got the child. After DNA testing, it was found that the couple were not the parents and the police then took custody of the unidentified girl. Concern about child trafficking has risen and the search for her real parents continues. <laughs> 